Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis. And in this video, we're going to update FreeBSD, a minor update from 13.0 to 13.1. If you click on that right there, you can see the release notes of 13.1. And you'll also notice it was released May the 16th, and the day is June the 9th. So I've waited about three weeks before I wanted to do this upgrade. That's kind of my habit. Uh, support life here, you can see 13.1. You can expect in three months, uh, July, August, September, somewhere in there, we'll get another minor update. And so the journey is going to start right here on the, in chapter 24, updating and upgrading free BSD. Go back down here where I had that highlighted. The difference between a major and a minor version upgrades. Upgrades from one minor version of FreeBSD to another, like FreeBSD 9 in this example, to 9.1 are called minor. And we're going from 13 to 13.1. So this is a minor version upgrade. Now, a couple things. Now, you'll see this in the video. There's a couple steps that you want to take before you ever start. First of all, update and upgrade your system. Run FreeBSD update. Uh, fetch and FreeBSD update uh, fit, uh, install if necessary. A couple things right here. A couple things you might want to know. Here you're going to run FreeBSD, and I'll show you this in the video. I took FreeBSD version and the uname, and make sure they match. If you do a, if you're doing an update, an upgrade, and they don't match, it's because you need to reboot your system. Reboot your system then those versions should be the same. You can also uh, have FreeBSD check for those updates in a cron job. And here's the instructions on how to do that. Just enter this uh, entry here. Enter this entry. <laughs> uh, so once you get that done, you can also, if something breaks for some unknown reason, you can also roll back this update. That's very nice to know right there. <laughs> So let me go back down here, find the command. Here it is here. In this example, they're using 9.1, and we're going to use 13.1. I'm going to minimize this, and we'll run NeoFetch, and you'll see that I've got version 13.1. And uh, that's really all you need to know. I've done the video already, and what's going to happen here is I'm going to bring up Parole Media Player, and then I'm going to go to full screen, and then I'm just going to basically uh, narrate through the through the uh, setup or upgrade. And know this that the parts that take took really long, I I increased their speed sometimes up to 800 uh, percent. So I took a took about 40 something minutes to upgrade and complete with the reboots and. I converted that, or I sped that up to down to about 17 minutes. So let me see. I'll be right back. Okay, so we should be in the video at this point. I did an update and an upgrade. Before I started the video, I rebooted. And you can see at this point, I'm still running uh, 13.0 at 11. So we know that's good. Running Neo Fetch here. Again, you got 13.0 at 11. So as soon as those match up and you're sure of that, then we believe we can start the upgrade. And some of this will be a little redundant because I've already just talked about it during the intro here. We're going to change that revision number from uh, 9.1 in that example to 13.1. All right, so we may see, it may see, you may, it may stop and you'll see, please reboot and, and run such and such again. Or, and you might see it uh, to install the upgrades, uh, run that command again. Kernel upgrades have been installed. You may have to reboot. So I ended up rebooting a total of three times, third time being the final time. I'm going to make it bigger so we can see it better. And again, like right here, this is sped way up. 
it takes a while if you run FreeBSD, you know that when you do the update fetch install it inspects the system and sometimes that can take a minute here it's, it's saying that we don't have the debug information for the lib32 based debug etc and that's okay i don't i didn't want it didn't install it haven't needed it you might but this looks reasonable so we're going to continue on One of the reasons I went ahead and started this when I did is because I got a, a message in the terminal that said that 13.0 was approaching the end of life. Please upgrade within the next month. And so I knew I was going to have to do that. So here I'm just saying we started at 209 p.m. Let me see it's still inspecting the system. But trust me, I sped this way up. <laughs> and I think I'm trying to open up Firefox. I'm not sure it's going to even open. It did. This is the address for the, or the link for chapter 24 in the handbook. updating and upgrading that's why i say some of this will be a little redundant because i just went over this in the intro but there's a lot of information right here and you need to be familiar at least familiar with it there i'm indicating that we're running the free bsd version hyphen k and then you name to make sure the kernel was the same and here we run 13.1 instead of 9.1 Close that out while I mess up my upgrade. And again, you might see some of those messages encouraging you to, or guiding you to uh, reboot and then run that update command. And we're about 500% easy there, trying to speed this up. <laughs> I could have just cut it all out, but I wanted you to actually be able to see. I wanted to actually be able to see. I did this as an experiment in a virtual box first, and then I did it on my hardware, run, running real hardware. And and I used Simple Screen Recorder in order to record it uh, in case there was something wrong or something I needed to reinvestigate I had a, a video of it and I did this instead of putting it in a virtual box and then showing you the upgrade in the virtual box here we're like I said we're running on hardware <laughs> I'm fixing to speed this up there we go <laughs> You can see my network monitor going crazy down there. Downloading all these patches. Up to 14,000, 15,000. And you can see why I sped this up. <laughs> I had a couple things working against me. This is running strictly Wi-Fi. And you don't know how fast the servers are. So here we got 19,000 patches. It's going to apply those patches. I'm going to hit the arrow key to try to speed this up even faster. It'll work. go well yep I used the arrow key and hit it over three times I sped it up three times or I jumped ahead three different occasions
here we go the following file cannot be merged so you, you're not going to find this i didn't find this it, it does say that there'll be some files that you may have to merge and one of them as you see here is the etsy groups or etsy group and it the new one i'm not in a lot of these categories some of them i are i am so i just quit out of it and i'll go back after the fact and add myself to those groups here it's listing all the patches that we're going to get it's install a downloaded upgrades run user sbn freebsd update install that's what i was showing you in the notes there you're going to get several prompts or i did and i'm going to hit the arrow key one more time here I said now we've got the same instruction, but only after a reboot. So I'll be back. Reboot one. Bring up my notes. Man, there we're fixing to put that in sudo user slash user slash sbin slash freebsd hyphen update space install it's already fetched the update I wish it was a little more verbose while it was installing this in patches, but it, it didn't. It's not. <laughs> so I'm just pointing out here, I got the warning that my end of life support was fixing to run out on 13.0. <laughs> but I think I saved a couple of headaches by waiting, and that's my logic anyway. Because I did see where people were having some problems. I didn't see anything major, but I just seem to not have any problems. <laughs> and again, we make sure I'm reiterating this because I want you to make sure you have to be, the versions have to be matched for this to work. If you just run an upgrade and the version went up, but it's not registered yet, and you try to do an upgrade, you're going to fail. I tried that in a virtual box and I failed. Because yeah, I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> but after the reboot, it, it succeeded. Let's see what we're running right now. some reason it decided to open up like five different tops or more there i'm not sure try that again there we go memory we're running two one gig two gigs twenty forty eight And it's still installing updates. I'm going to hit the arrow key one more time. Once again. Once again. <laughs> Once again. So even though I sped it up, some places a thousand percent i still had to go fast forward with my arrow key <laughs> it just appears to have taken a long time it did actually take about 40 minutes so 
which is like watching waiting for water to boil and if i'm not mistaken as soon as i wrote that and went over here it was finished or getting finished yep maybe There we go. Check the certificates. They're all clean. 251. So I got away with one reboot, but I am going to reboot again. Yeah, I did reboot again. But I do think that's the end here. Now we got 13.1. Run a uname uh, again. Or as well. And it matches up to 13.1. Now watch this. 13.0. And the LFETCH is not registered that upgrade yet. So. To fix that. Or that will correct itself when you reboot. After reboot, could have just cut that part out altogether. <laughs> Here's your regular upgrade. This is what I run on a regular basis. Run FreeBSD hyphen update fetch install colon pseudo package update pseudo package upgrade. And it's looking for upgrades to 13.1. And it's also looking at my software. And we have no candidates to update. And the only what you might call a glitch is because I need to uh, reboot. All right. So we success. That's how you successfully do a upgrade, a minor upgrade. In FreeBSD from 13.0 to 13.1. Worked, it worked about flawlessly. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a great one. Bye. I'm sorry. Peace out. Bye.